Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sarek, and welcome to Sunken Lane. So this survival game keeps growing in me. It keeps getting better and better, at least in my opinion. And uh, yeah, so it's a new survival game on Steam. And even though it looks like it's inspired by Raft, Rust, and probably other survival games, but it is very unique in my opinion because there are lots of little islands around us and all those islands are very unique. And you might think that, hey, what, this game only has little islands and that's it. No, this game also has a very very massive underwater world and also this world has lots of different sharks and kind of that's all I know about it I'm sure that there are probably even other enemies and it is interesting to progress in this game So currently I'm trying to work on a new level of my workbench So over here I have a workbench and at the same time I'm asking what's like your base is kind of small here and yes It is pretty tiny. However, I am trying to upgrade my base over here. Wait while we are inside of this other base How about we try to smelt some more iron? because that is very important. And check this out over here. I need to work on another level of this workbench and we are almost ready to upgrade it. All I need to have is just some more components, which are very easy to get. I think I already have them. However, I do not have enough copper ingots. So we're gonna get enough copper ingots. I might even have enough of them. Hey. It's another beautiful morning. So, welcome to all those that have just joined the stream. And if you're watching this live stream after it's over, then make sure to head to the pinned pin comments. There you might find timestamps. And welcome, welcome to all those that are watching this live stream after it's over. Let me know that in the comments if you're watching it later. And uh, yeah, let's probably start smelting copper. That's how we're going to begin today's adventures by smelting some copper and by probably upgrading that other thing because... Uh, wait, did I start smelting something else? I don't know. In any case, I do believe that it would be a wise investment for us to craft another furnace. However, it does require a bunch of rubber and I do not have any rubber. Plus, my character is kind of hungry. So how about we get that food? How about we start cooking more of that stuff? And I have grown my potatoes. So let's plant these potatoes as well. And there's another thing that I haven't mentioned about the game. So every once in a while, we get attacked by... By, by, by whatever, by mutants, by enemies. So we kind of have to defend the base. Maybe I should start building like fences around this place, maybe. I think that would be kind of smart. Mobile or PC, it's on Steam. This game is on, is on Steam. All right, how about we go here? I'll take the item and let's start smelting more copper. So we need, what, three more copper pieces. Not counting the one here in the furnace. Say so welcome once again to all those that have just joined. Welcome, welcome. Uh, you need to see let's game it out playing that game i have no idea what's the the game called let's game it out and hey yeah last time a few hours ago maybe in the first episode or something we have taken over that boat maybe it was in the second episode but yeah we have taken over that boat which is cool we have gotten all the resources possible from that boat and yeah today's goal we're gonna upgrade that workbench to a higher level and we will obviously keep exploring because this game is also all about exploring getting better tools exploring getting even better tools and exploring even more i don't know if i've been on that island there's district 43 which is this thing underwater we have semi looted it but whatever's okay so this is the small rock island i must have been there i've been there as well Maybe today we'll even start taking over some other buildings. Like this place over there. I'm sure it'll have some enemies. So maybe I'll try to kill them from further away or something. Also, my character is getting more and more hungry. So how about we eat some of this roasted fish? I have even more fish to roast. So let's roast that. Where's the motorboat? I haven't crafted the motorboat. However, I do have this thing. It's better than nothing. Again, it's not, it's not perfect, but it is something. Maybe we'll even craft the motorboat today because yes, indeed we can craft a motorboat. There we go We just need some more rubber Okay, so maybe let's start gathering the resources that we need for that level uh, Two workbench. All right, we're gonna eat more of that and do I have any drinks? Okay Let's drink some water It wasn't perfect, but hey, that was something. How about I get More water and how about I get that bucket of water? Okay, so while all these things are smelting, we'll do at least something, right? At least we'll... we'll boil some water. Okay, let's get that. Also, I'm kind of trying to stay vigilant because this base might be attacked by somebody. Okay, let's add the seawater. And we also need to add some wood here so that it can start actually the boiling process. Okay, so let's add a little bit of wood. 
And let's add here one more copper piece. There we go. And yeah, as soon as we are done crafting that thing to level 3, we'll see what kind of other items we can craft. And then that's it. We're going to set off on an adventure. We just have to do some housework first here. Okay, let's add some more water. I'm going to cook more fish. And also, I'd love to craft a better sleep... Not a better sleeping bag, but probably we can craft, like, a combat armor. For that, we need to have some Maryland skin. We also can craft a backpack, but for that, we need to kill some more sharks. So that's going to be also on our agenda today. Okay, let's drop that here. So, yeah, so far... Oh, no, we got attacked! Ladies and gentlemen! Whoops, whoops, why did I click? I have no idea what I clicked. Uh, but... Whoops. Okay, let's start reloading. Okay. I did not expect that they'll attack me so early on. Dude, we just began! Okay, how on earth is that dude still alive? If I'm gonna die from them today, that'll be very sad. They're destroying my base. Dude, there are more of them. How are they still alive? How many more arrows do I need? I didn't get ready. I didn't think that they'll attack me so early on. As I've kind of already defended a wave of zombies quite recently. How about I get this? Probably this spear is going to be the best. Uh, I don't have anything to eat or anything to heal with. Close the door, dude. I need my bandages. Um... Okay, let's heal up. Do I have any other healing items? Um, before they destroy my entire base. Dude, I had some healing items. Where are they? Where's the medicine? Okay, there's the medicine. Oh, no, that's not that. Dude, where are my healing items? I must have these things. Didn't mean to eat that algae. Okay, let's craft more of these potions. Okay, let's go outside then. Okay, they're destroying my base. However, that is alright. Well, we survived! Which is great, right? That's... Wait, I don't know, guys. What, what were you... I think you were just seeing my face on full screen. That, that was very sad because I just clicked a bunch of random buttons and I panicked. Or did you see, guys, the... Did you see everything? Or no? Well, hopefully you were able to see the fight here. Because when they attacked me, I just clicked a bunch of buttons at the same time, and the chat disappeared, everything disappeared, and I couldn't see anything. But hopefully, ladies and gents, you saw the fight. So did you guys see the fight or not? Hopefully you did. Sheesh. In any case, let's get some strawberries. When is the next for you play video? Uh, soon is, hopefully. With sun can land, I'm thinking, do we even need free to play videos? Bruh. Sun can land is epic. Nobody answer him, says Rudy Alejos. Okay, so Ape said in the chat that yes, the thanks guys. You did see the fight, and that is very important. Okay, so we have healed up a bit. That's important. At least I didn't didn't get lost completely, right? So that's great. Alright, now. Uh, we kind of need to work on this base because it is a little bit messy. Well, as long as it's not Ronaldo. Uh, let's get some rope components and scrap metal. There we go. We got enough scrap metal. What else do we need for it? Ten components and three rope. Uh, three components. That's not enough. Okay, we got 20 components. That is great. Let's get 20 components, and uh, we need three rope, ladies and gents. Three bloody rope. One, two, and three. And that is it! It is time for us to, 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 to upgrade the thing. We did it. We totally did it. So we can craft better things now. We can craft a homemade revolver, which is awesome. We can also craft this iron armor that gives us 18... Defense. Okay, I'm gonna be probably learning this iron armor right now. We need that. Then we need combat knee pads. I'm learning this. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Then we have a recycler. Drag and use items into it. Dismantle and obtain uh, partial raw 
whatever. I don't know what we can do with that recycler. Then the gun workshop. Workshop used for crafting modern firearms. Dude, there's so many new things that we have unlocked. Crude gunpowder, improved explosive from scrap metal. So we can even have better gunpowder. Wait, we need that homemade revolver. We need this uh, gun workshop. Let's try crafting it. So now we can craft so many more items. It's just amazing. I'm totally loving it. Okay, so let's try working on... On, on, on what are we going to work on right now? Um, important stuff, all right? On the war on the gun thing. They say it's a grenade. I don't... Oh, it is a crude grenade. I thought it's like better gunpowder. See, it is a crude grenade. I read what it was, but it didn't care. But headlight. This is great. We also need a headlight. I haven't even seen any electronic components yet, but whatever. All right, so let's get this gun workshop. I'm not sure if it's great or not, but we got to do it. Let's see, bombs first. I don't know if we need a bomb, though. We will see. I feel like the gun workshop is going to be very important. We need more scrap metal and components, and then we can build it. Okay, because I need better guns. We have a crossbow, but it's not that amazing. Okay, how about we craft some more bullets? Dude, we have just unlocked so many things. I am super excited. Let's craft some more crossbow bolts. And, uh, wait, we can craft a sawmill? When did I get a sawmill? A small generator? How did I unlock these things? I don't remember learning them. Maybe just because I crafted this thing at level 3 and I've just unlocked new whatever items. Okay. Whatever, not gonna say no to that. Let's get this. Let's get some scrap metal and to build... Uh... Wait, wait I don't even have the ammo workshop. Uh, armor workshop. Where's the gunsmith? Uh, whatever that was. I was about to craft it and now it's gone. Bruh. The research table, the small generator, sawmill, ammo workshop, armor workshop. Oh, gun workshop. There we go. There it was. Dude, they're gonna destroy my base one day. I need to start repairing it. I really need to start building fences around it. Otherwise, everything here will get destroyed. I should seriously prioritize now the base defense. But hey, let's check the gun workshop first. So we can craft a double barrel shotgun. Okay, we can craft GP20. We can craft a pump shotgun, an SMG, a stun gun, a hunting rifle, an old bolt action rifle, an AK. Except for that, we need AK parts. Dude, this is huge. This is gonna be huge. Okay, so double barrel shotgun is... Except it does damage only 15. That's kind of sad when my crossbow does 42 damage. Say so these guns are kind of bad. They're very bad, so I'd rather use my... My things for now. They say craft an AK. Thanks for the tips and tricks, except I cannot craft an AK. As I don't have the broken AK parts. Hunting rifle for range, probably. Except I'm pretty sure we need... A hunting rifle parts and I don't have none of that so we have to keep exploring I do have a repair hammer somewhere however we need to seriously desperately get more space how about I craft one more box and I place it here uh, let's craft it here and I feel like we are on a timer because another wave of those schmucks will attack us so how about I craft more Herbal medicine. Okay, let's drop that. The gunpowders. All of the iron will go to the other chest. The gasoline. Where do we even keep gasoline? Here. Okay, so somehow some way to sort it out. So yeah, these guns. I mean, I thought maybe these guns will be better. They do only 70 damage, so the crossbow is really good. The crossbow is fine that we have here. Guns are faster, though. That is true. That is true. I would definitely craft, like, some of the guns if I could. But I don't think I can craft anything. I can craft this homemade revolver, which is... Which I should probably craft it. I mean, gun parts. I have gun parts and scrap metal. Let's get scrap metal. How many gun parts do I have? We should have a lot of them. No? I have only two gun parts? Wait, really? Nah, I don't believe that. We, we should have more gun parts than that. 
For realsies, we have only two gun parts. I could swear that we have more than that. Well, so that's not a lot. So do I craft that revolver? Probably I should. Still want to learn, but I'm not going to be able... I can just only learn it. Yeah, I'll be able to only... Oh, we can craft gun parts or oh, whatever. Forget it then. Let's craft the revolver and let's get some components. I just saw that we can craft some more armor. That is great. Where's the component? There we go. We can now learn the gun parts. Where does one craft these gun parts? Okay, probably here in this inventory. There we go. So let's craft one gun part, whatever. And where's the homemade revolver? We need five more gun parts. Bro. I need more gun parts. Where are they? I also need better armor. Dude, we need so many more things. That it is ridiculous. Two, three, four, five. Cannot get more because I need more components. I've used up all of the comps. <laughs> I really don't have any more components, ladies and gents. So whatever. Let's get ready go outside on an adventure stone hatchet I'm just gonna drop it here how much HP do zombies have I have no idea a lot I'd say all right that goes there let's start working on an armor then on any armor I can definitely start crafting the body armor that we've unlocked. It'll be very, very important. The combat armor. No, we're not going to craft the combat armor. The the iron armor is better and easier to craft for some reason. Okay, so let's craft it. I'm going to equip it. Except maybe combat armor is going to go instead of this tactical shirt, perhaps. Maybe. Or maybe no. Maybe probably not. However, I could get these better pants. I just need two more iron. Dude. And there's also a scrap helmet. Oh, except we already have a better helmet. Okay, cool. I need a better shirt, though. I love your sunken land streams. Please keep it up, says Dante. Welcome to the show. I'm glad that you're enjoying them. Because I am loving sunken land as well. We've just unlocked so many new items here. And yeah. We need to start working on pistols, but at the same time, we need to go get some more resources. I'm just smelting one more iron piece. We need more robber. Yeah, we need everything. Like, that's all I have to say. We're getting low on resources, so we have to go outside. I'm going to craft this combat knee pads. Let's equip this. So we have 26 armor. Better than nothing. I need to get better boots and a better shirt. How does one get it? I do not have a slightest clue. There's got to be a way to get it. Oh, then we can craft ceiling lamps. That's epic. It's diving time. Yes, indeed. It is totally diving time. How about I drop this antique pistol here as I don't have gunpowder for it anyways. We got some roasted fish. Almost called it rotten fish. Let's drop it there. We have our scooter. We have the pickaxe. And we have the bucket that goes there. Let's drink some water. I think that's it. I'm ready to go outside. Yeah, let's go. That is it. Let's restart this. Just because why not? And let's get out of ladies and gents. Let's close the door. And I'm ready to go outside. Let's obviously save the game before we do anything. And my chest is empty. Alright, so let's go on an adventure. Oh no, the game got stuck. Ladies and gentlemen, is everything alright?
Everything is stuck. Sunken land crashed. No! It's my first crash! I have like, how many hours in sunken land now? I have six hours and this was my first crash. Did I save the game at least? Hopefully it's saved. Ladies and gentlemen, that was my first save. It first crashed in six hours. It was frozen. Yeah, guys, the game froze. I apologize. Oh no, it even launched on the wrong monitor now. Wow. That has never happened before. Um, uh, there we go. It didn't move. Bruh, how about it go there? You saved on the right time. Hopefully it's saved. As I have no idea. Okay, let's begin the game again. I don't know why it happened. It has never crashed before. It was pretty darn stable. Okay, let's start the game. Let's begin. And let's load in, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we are back in the game and it works. I think the game saved. Everything's fine, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, we saved just in time, even though it crashed, but everything saved just in time. Correct, correct. Okay, so let's go now in this thing. Wait, what's underwater there? Oh, that's just broken thing. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we gotta go kind of somewhere further, even though it's kind of late now. Uh, how about we go on whatever island? There's the mutant settlement. There are the apartments. Dude, I don't even know where we could go. We need to go, like, wherever. What if I swim that way? Yeah, let's probably go towards that question mark. Perhaps we'll find something underwater. Say, theme park? Uh, there is the amazement amusement park. Except it is kind of late, so I'll have to go back to the base soon, so I don't want to swim too far away. So we will see. Go hunt some sharks. We also should hunt some sharks. Wait, these are not sharks. These are other dudes. I need to go somewhere that I haven't looted yet. Okay, that's definitely another settlement for sure. Hello. I'm sure it's gonna be full of mutants. Unlock a new location before bedtime. Yep, I think we should. I see something underwater. We're maybe gonna loot that. Oh wow, there's something. The shark. We've unlocked a machine factory. Okay, great. So, how about we exit, and how about we loot this machine factory? I'm gonna equip this air tank. I'll have that, and we have a spear. Um, good enough, I guess? Okay, let's start destroying and demolishing everything, basically. Did somebody say a settlement? I did. I said that it's a settlement. Alright, while well, we can, let's just loot everything. Let's take all. Okay, here we can not mine anything. Let's go lower. I also gotta be careful with the... With this tank that I got. With this air tank, because it won't last here forever. We need to have more of these air tanks. Oh, we have found a safe here! That's awesome. What do we get in the safe? An antique flint pistol, whatever. Let's learn it. I got these better boots. These things are broken. Uh, the pistol, I'll get that. Neon woman and nightclub things, whatever. I'll get this. I'll eat the crab meat. And this helmet, I already have one broken football helmet, so I don't think I need another one. Okay, so let's get out of here. Okay, where is my boat? 
Okay, let's drop some things in the boat. All right. This water components and maybe even 15, whatever. I'll keep those 15 arrows. Don't want to drop them here. Let's go under the water again. Okay, that thing saved us, so I will get it because with our red algae, we can craft healing items. And that's kind of cool. Now it cannot go through there. Unbelievable. So I kind of want to get more scrap metal, yes, but at the same time, more of everything else. Okay, we got some phones, some other things that we can sell to the traders. That's great. Anything useful in the trash? Some rubber. That's what the doctor ordered. More scrap. We just need more rubber. Because rubber is used to... Oh, there we go! There's some rubber. Yes, yes. Three, four, five pieces. That's not a lot of pieces. I need more. Plus our O2 is about to deplete. Okay, I'm gonna loot this and then I'll just shoot up with this thing to breathe. Dude, it's so much better to loot with this stuff. How about I go back to the boat and uh, how about I deposit some of the things. Some scrap metal, more scrap metal. Is there anything else I could stack? Sadly, there's no the put all button. I'm gonna eat that scallop. Why not? And I'll drop this. All right, let's go underwater. Before the night falls in fully, fully. Let's do one more scavenge run. Okay. Then we need to craft a helmet. We'll be able to see more things. That'll be cool. Okay, nothing here. Dude, I'm gonna go up again real quick. Just to <gasps> breathe. And we can go... Back here. Just give me something. Whatever. Well, I got a pickaxe. I'll get at least something. Okay, I'm freezing right now. And I'm out of O2. Dude, I'm gonna start dying. Okay, so it is getting late. Whatever. We'll come back here and we'll loot the rest of the stuff. Let's sit in the boat. And let's go back home. Okay, our base is that way. I'm sure about it. I'm getting Subnautica vibes, let me go. So yeah, this game is like inspired probably by Subnautica, by Rav, by, 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 by Rust. It is inspired by a lot of games, but at the same time, I think it is one of the more unique games that I've played. It is very interesting. That's all I have to say. I haven't felt an urge to play a game like Sunken Land in a while. The doctor ordered robber, not medicine. Yes, indeed. Okay, how about we go to sleep? It's now almost 8 p.m. Oh no, the tree just grew here. Okay. Let's go to sleep. We woke up at 5 in the morning. That's great. How about we chop this tree down? I didn't have space for any of that. I planted more potatoes, probably. Gotta be careful and beware of another attack. Wouldn't be surprised if we got attacked, like, at any moment. We'll drop the potatoes. The glass goes there. The mobile phone will go here. Okay, and let's try... To Get this. I just dropped something on the ground that I don't need. Like this torch. Get out of here. Looks like the stuff doesn't despawn. Alright, we got more resources, but that's still not enough. That's like basically nothing. So we will go back to looting that place. Need light inside of the base. I mean, we do have these things. It's better than nothing, but yeah, we need more. Also, where do I get electronic components? 
Maybe I can buy them from the trader. I do something interesting how about i get the nightclub thing and how about i place it here i mean pretty dope pretty dope sign if i may say so myself all right how about we drop the rest of the items in whatever boxes okay we got this broken pistol broken mauser pistol that's good I mean, it's not good that it's broken, but it's good that we've gotten it. Uh, that goes there. The seeds, the food. I'm glad that we are also sorting out the base. Like, that's... That's huge. That's very important. Beautiful. I know, guys. The, the nightclub sign here is actually beautiful. Let's go now on another adventure. We are not starving. We are not too thirsty. Let's hop back on our boat. Oh, there's one more thing that I haven't done yet. Oh, Lord. How about we craft one more air tank? How expensive is it? To craft an air tank, we need rubber and other stuff. Okay, it's not that expensive. However, there we go. let's try to pump our... Air tank. Fill the O2 tank. Yes, indeed. That's what we are doing right now, ladies and gents. Let's fill it up. Dude, I am telling you. I am loving Sunken Land more and more. It is really fun. You can find electronic parts in the green recycle bin. So you have to recycle stuff to get it. Okay. Let's get the tank. And we could craft another tank. We just need one iron components and some rubber. One iron components and some rubber. I'm gonna craft it. Why not? Some iron components and rubber. Might be expensive, but it might be worth it as. We'll be able to explore underwater a lot longer. Oh, uh, there we go. Let's craft our second air tank. Yeah, that's it. Let's just go. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. Every time I have to clap, my character just sits down because to clap, I have a shortcut for control zero. Control zero to clap and control three to, to have a sad sound effect. So every time I do those things, my character just sits down. Epic. All right, how about we push this? And let's drive, ladies and gents. Base isn't sorted until loot is in alphabetical order backwards, says the A. All right. You might have actually a point. So, can the base get attacked? Okay, guys, so I have actually a question now, a very important one. To those that have played Sunken Lane, or maybe you know, can my base get attacked if I'm not in the base? Because right now I'm going to go to this machine factory, right? I'm going to keep looting it. Can the base be attacked when I'm not in the base? We get important resources from the water, underwater only. No, you get iron and copper and a lot of stuff on the islands. On the islands, you also get gun parts. You get lots of stuff on the islands as well. It's just that islands are more dangerous. Like, for example, to loot this island now... Look at this, there are enemies. I have to kill them first. And we could kill them with a crossbow, but I think it's a lot easier to just kill them once we get a pistol. So, that's my goal. Okay, I'm gonna get more sulfur. I'm gonna continue mining that. And yeah, I'll just keep gathering more resources because we need everything. Shark hunt today? Probably. Okay, so I see some people saying yes, some people are saying no. So I don't know whom to trust or what to trust. Do I need more wood though? You can never have too much wood. Backpack space is the problem. We also need a bigger backpack. That is true. We could craft it, but we need to hunt the shark for it. Except that, as you can see, guys, there are lots of things that we need to do. I need to get more resources to... to upgrade my base and do whatever. And second of all, we need to kill a shark. So we kind of need to do everything. 
Okay. Whatever, at the same time we're getting cloth and more wood, and we need that wood for, for stuff. So I'm gonna get it. I'll chop those things down. Yes, you can get attacked when you're not at home. So wait, my, my home will be destroyed when I'm not home. That is a little bit sad. However, that's okay. Hopefully my home won't get completely destroyed. I feel like I shouldn't be destroying these things. So that is way too much wood. And gathering wood underwater isn't very efficient. Yes, there we go, a car. Yeah, I feel like getting wood underwater is just waste of time. That stuff is just here to troll you. Okay, let's get more scrap metals. I don't see any sharks around us. That is good. So I have you played Subnautica? Yes, indeed. Okay, how about we switch this with this? There we go. Ooh, an interesting vehicle. We have gotten a little bit of rubber. That is great. More rubber. So you can never have too much rubber. I wish we got more of it. Yeah, so I'm gonna start destroying those things as they're kind of useless. Getting wood underwater isn't the best. We have some sneakers and cargo shorts. I don't think I need that. So I'm not picking it up. Because we already have good armor and... That stuff doesn't sell well either. Okay, we've got in the trash bin. We've got some more components, some more random stuff. Looted this because it looks like I can loot it. Okay, apparently I cannot loot that. Okay, do we have anything else? There's got to be more loot somewhere. Or have I looted everything? This entire machine factory has been cleaned out. Perhaps, perhaps. I got stuck. <sighs> I thought we got stuck there permanently. For a second, I did get scared. Okay, here we can also get iron. All right. Have I been at the very, very bottom? Yes, multiple times now. pretty deep. I guess that is it. This place is, has been looted mostly, right? Yeah, let's go back to our boat. Let's deposit all the loot. Oh, there are more cars. I see. That is important. Okay, I'm gonna breathe just a bit. We've used up two of those O2 tanks. Oh, these are just basic fish. I should probably kill them as well. Uh, how about I... Okay, let's get that. For the skin, I need to drop something. I'm gonna drop the... I'll eat the algae, whatever. I need these things. It's very important. I think we can grab the backpack with it or something. So let's get it. Bro was spinning. Yes, those fish were spinning. <laughs> oh no, I don't have space. And more rubber here. That's beautiful. How do I know? Okay, we were here. Okay, let's go back to our little boat. Let's drop the things. All right, for the backpack. One needs... Okay, I, I haven't even learned the backpack yet, have I? 
Yep, I don't think I've learned the backpack yet. Okay, am I going the right way? Was it here? I guess so. Those are marlins. Yeah, those are not sharks. They're like, I'm gonna call them dolphins. Not only I killed them, I also disrespected them by calling them dolphins. Great. I'll need... Can you charge batteries? I'll need a way to charge my batteries. Or buy more batteries because this scooter is amazing. Like, looting with this thing is so much better. Okay, there's the vehicle. Find the truck. There we go. We did find the fi we did find a truck. Okay, there's another car down there. All we need is a shark now. We should you can craft batteries. Yes, we can, but I mean they require resources, correct? And resources expensive let's restore the auto we needed components anyway so I might as well just load these cars we came here for loot so let's get the loot have I loaded this I don't remember I feel like I have Maybe I haven't. I think I have. There was a car here. Um, I don't think there's anything else useful underwater here. So how about we go back to our boat? Let's deposit everything. Now let's probably defend the the attack because our base will be attacked right now. I think, unless they've already been demolishing our base for a while. Okay, where's the the base. There it is. You need a generator. Wait, you can recharge batteries, but you need a generator for it. I mean, it makes sense. How about solar panels? So that I don't have to do anything. Such a peaceful game. Very peaceful. And I haven't closed my doors, of course. Why would I close my doors? I don't have a door. Those schmucks destroyed my doors. How do I build another door? A metal door. Oh my goodness, a metal door. Let's add it. They destroyed my door. Okay, that's good. That I saw it. Maybe I never had that door there. Or maybe I did in any case. I need to probably get a hammer real quick. Also, I need to craft another bandage. We got to get ready for the attack. As I'm sure we'll be attacked very soon. Okay, we got some good resources. Generator will probably use gasoline, probably. We do have a little bit of gasoline. So that's good. Okay, let's try to empty this thing out. Oh my goodness, that was very loud. have a decent amount of robber. We got almost 20 robber. Good. Totally good. Where do I keep the skin? Whatever, I'll keep it here. Some of the food goes 
there. Okay, I'm gonna drink that Pepsi and I will eat the seafood. Whatever, increases maximum health by 50. So did I just get more health? Probably. Oh, I do! Look at the down left corner. Now we have a lot more health. Probably the text is gonna be stuck now for a while. However, we have more health. I'm gonna take it. That's great. How would you rate this game uh, game on scale from 1 to 10? I mean, it would be hard to rate anything on a scale. It's like, how would you rate water in scale from 1 to 10? I mean, it's 10. But this game is good. That's all I have to say. It's good. I like it. Your head's in the bottom left corner. Okay, oh, my head is there. Okay, guys, I'm sorry you didn't see it, but I guess in the bottom left corner, now we have more health. I'm an idiot. My head is there. I'm sorry. I apologize. That's it. We have sorted out everything. Now, we need to set goals on what we need to do because there are lots of things that we could craft, and I don't even know what to do next like i'm just jumping from one thing to another and i don't think that's healthy correct all right so let's close this wait actually let's open it. so i wanted to craft a pistol right my goal was to craft a revolver however i couldn't craft that revolver because of reasons because I didn't have enough gun parts. Perhaps I do have gun parts now. I also have this thing that I want to check out. I'm sorry. This thing is meant for repairing or destroying. How do I repair stuff? Oh, you have to hit it to repair. I see. Do I use resources to repair that? Probably I do reuse resources. I don't- I know I don't have any more resources. So I've repaired this, but I- oh, there we go. I can repair the foundation now. Okay, that's great. It's my first time repairing stuff. Okay, most of these things have a good amount of health. It is weird. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Repairing is a little bit weird. Look at this. I'm hitting it and it doesn't work. So you have to find the right angle to repair stuff. So yeah, the, the repairing part is kind of clunky. it but I don't even see any okay there we go well that has to be repaired smashing to repair yes indeed plus I don't think we need resources to repair either it's free I'm gonna drop this thing here all right so how many revolver parts do we have only five to craft another revolver part, we need another iron. Correct? Oh, we don't we are out of iron now. Let's start smelting copper. Uh, we'll need more iron. ASAP. Ladies and gentlemen, we are this close to the revolver. We almost have it. Okay, so where is it? To grab the revolver, we just need 10 scrap metal and two more iron. Okay, I'll go get it. I didn't think that we'll need more iron. Our first revolver. We crafted it. That was pretty epic, I guess. Now, we just need ammo for it. Does it have infinite durability? I don't know. However... It's a revolver. And that is something. 
It uses uh, black powder ammunition. To craft now black powder ammo, we need black powder. And scrap metal. We need a lot of scrap metal. And black powder, just sulfur and charcoal. It's... I don't know. Maybe I'd like to have a workbench to craft these items. Because to craft this black powder, you don't even need a workbench or anything. You can just craft it... The stuff in your own inventory. Okay, how about I craft some black gunpowder? Oh, wow. You get only one of it. Well, we crafted some of it. Now we need more scrap metal. And we can get a bunch of black powder ammunition. We get 10 of it per each. Okay, 70 ammunition. I guess that's something for now, right? 70 ammo. Good. That is absolutely good, ladies and gentlemen. We just crafted some nice ammo. Now, we have a revolver. Check. What is the next step? We need to be upgrading the base and building things around it. <sighs> but at the same time, I want to explore more things. We have that other pistol part. Could craft that gun. Mauser. It does only 40 damage and it requires pistol ammunition. And this does 50 damage and it requires black powder ammo. So something tells me that this pistol that I have is better than the one I could have crafted. Okay, let's refill my air tanks while we're at it. So we have a nice revolver. Now, I am. Th it's kind of getting late. So we could go on a very quick resource run. Then we go to sleep at like, I don't know, in a few minutes. And uh, in the morning, we get this revolver and, and we go to whatever nearby island and we clear it out. Might shoot faster and faster reload speed. That's true, but you also ha need pistol bullets. And I don't have pistol ammunition yet. I haven't unlocked it. Okay, we've gotten another air tank. Beautiful. That's just what the doctor ordered. I'm gonna drop the comps here. I'm gonna regrow the potatoes. I thought somebody attacked us. Let's kill some sharks. We also need to kill some sharks. Okay, so next thing is getting a better backpack. Okay, so batteries provides power for mobile electronic devices, scooters. Okay, whatever. So we need an electronic parts. I don't have them. We could craft a headlight. Cannot craft it. We can craft a battery charger. It requires power source. So we then re will require a generator and a backpack will require things um let's start working on the backpack then while it's kind of dark so that we don't burn daylight Okay, so to research the uh, for level four, we need to find advanced parts. Whoa, whoa! I don't even know where this one get them. Okay, we need rubber and cloth now. Rubber and cloth. Let's learn the backpack. However, I cannot craft it yet because we need one more shark skin, ladies and gentlemen. So I need to kill one more shark. And then we can craft the... THE backpack. Probably the last backpack in the game, or maybe there's one more uh, at level 4. Perhaps. Can we sleep? Okay, we cannot sleep yet. Here, we just drank some water. You have a shark skin. So I just- I killed already one. We just need one more. We need one more shark skin, and that is it. So in the morning now, we're gonna go to sleep in like a minute, probably. The game plan is simple. I'll go deal with these guys, because I've been eyeing them now for a while. 
I'll kill all of them with my pistol. And I'll take over that island. Maybe I'll also get attacked uh, in the morning, so I'll have to kill these guys with my crossbows and uh, other stuff. Because I also want to save as much ammunition as possible. Guess fair enough. Good plan, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Would you agree? That is a good plan. Can I sleep? No, not yet. And we also, okay, so we're gonna go there and we also need to kill a shark. Let's not forget about the shark. There are more things that we have to do, but let's just pick one or two things and let's work on those things. I still cannot sleep. Does anybody know how often they attack you? Still cannot sleep. You've got to be kidding me. It's not bedtime. When is the bedtime then? Whatever. At least I'll do something productive. While I cannot sleep. Let's just get some water. We need to get a shark. Okay, guys. So first of all, before we deal with those other guys, we're going to kill a shark. In the morning, we go kill a shark. And then we do things. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Let's go to sleep. There we go. Another beautiful morning. Welcome. Good morning, everybody. We're gonna eat some food now. How about I cook more meat? Actually, I wanna cook something else. I wanna cook whatever fish I saw here. Where is it? I just saw that fish a second ago. This one. It's pretty small. I'm pretty sure the big fish is better. Okay, let's drink some water. That is it. Now, let's kill the shark. We just have to find... But I'm pretty sure they'll attack me soon now. So do I get them? What's the green bottle lime juice? I don't know. I uh, didn't see it. Also, I don't know why this thing is constantly visible now. What happened to it? Does not matter. What matters though? Sharks. Uh, somebody said the sword bot and they're gonna just sorted out my inventory. There must be shark, uh, sharks around the island. I am sure of it. These are just basic marlins. I don't need them. go that way. Maybe I'll even be able to shoot them with the pistol. Probably not in the water, but above the water. The sunken ship has sharks. Yeah, the Neptune. Maybe let's go there. But it has like crazy sharks. Can you see them attacking your base or like can you see them swim towards your base or do they just spawn out of nowhere? Because if they spawn out of nowhere, we should definitely be able to see them. That'll be huge. Okay, how about I just jump down? Check things out. Okay, no sharks. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, there's one more island that I haven't even explored yet. So we will have to do this. Except, again, guys, it's not now. We have other plans for today. You're wasting your oxygen tank. Oh, yeah, I didn't realize that. Thanks for letting me know. There we go. There is a shark. Okay, so we're going to now fight a shark. And at the same time, we have this thing. Wait, why well, I haven't unlocked it yet? Go and unlock it. 
I want to get close to it. There we go. Radio Island. Yikes. Okay, we're going to loot that Radio Island later. Are these sharks or whatever? That's got to be a shark here. Okay, so let's try to kill this shark. I think we can just... Oh, that's it. I, I, I did not kill it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, well, that dude is strong. How about we reload real quick? Oh, that reloads very fast. Okay. Let's see. We got it. I killed this dude. Somehow, somehow we've gotten another shark skin. That is good. Do we just craft the backpack right now or do I need anything else? Listen, we just needed one shark skin. We got it. So let's go to the base. Let's craft that, that new backpack and then let's start exploring. I want to check out the radio island. But as I said, we're going to take over something else first. The police station for sharks. Where's the police station? Have I even unlocked it? I don't think so. Also, we need a better boat. Also, this gun reloads very fast. So, I like it. Also, our armor was insane. We were able to... Oh, no. We got only 50 extra health for a while. Let's look at the down left corner. That 50 health disappeared. So, it doesn't last forever. It only lasts for a while. The mansion has sharks. Oh, yeah. True. I remember getting damage around the mansion. That's true. That is true. The Castaway Island. Neutral. It is my island. What do you mean neutral? It should be positive. It should be friendly. How does one craft a flag? Maybe I need a flag here. To claim the territory. There we go. We just need some wood and cloth. And then a backpack. And then we're going to take over the things. I'm going to place it here. It said Castaway Island. We did it. This is my island now. Uh, these go there. What do we need for the backpack? Rubber. Marlin skin. And what else? And some cloth pieces. Ladies and gentlemen, let's grab the backpack now. We did it. We can now equip it. And we've gotten an extra row of stuff. That is awesome. That is actually great. Now, I'm thinking, like, do I wait until they attack me? Because... You're moving up the world. Congrats. Thank you. Alright, so we could do something. I haven't even been here. So next time, maybe when they attack me, I'll go up. Whatever. They're not attacking me, so I'm gonna go and claim that island, because why not? My helmet is about to break, so I need to do something about my helmet. I don't know how to does one repair it, but there's got to be a way to do it. Whoa. My boat disappeared. Alright, let's turn around and let's take over this island. The repair station. Okay, we gotta craft that repair station. So maybe that's our next goal. After we take uh, over this island, we loot it and then we craft the repair station. We gotta like set these little goals, otherwise we're not gonna progress in this game. That's all I have to say. Because there are like so many things to do that I don't even know what to do first. I start doing like three, four things at the same time and then we don't do anything. So doing something is better than nothing. So yeah, after this, we are crafting the repair station. Okay, there we go. There are these guys. How about I stand up? 
they are here. And how about I use my revolver? Okay, I'm missing. Perhaps I need to drive closer. Yeah, they're gonna actually come after me here, that's fine. Look at this dude, he's swimming. Thinks that he can do something. Oh well. Maybe he can actually do something. Where is you, mate? What are you doing? How are you still alive? Well, what is going on? Bro's gonna destroy my boat. What on earth? How are you alive for so long? That's silly. My boat got shreked a bit. Okay. We're getting them. I'm glad that I crafted this thing. Headshots work. When I zoom in, we have this green dot, and then we have the, the sights where to aim, so I don't even know where do we aim first. I miss that. Of course I miss that. Hello. Hello, little friend. From far away, their textures don't even load. Okay, dead. But is that it? That must have been it. They're pretty... They're pretty... Pudding, look at this. I would pop it right now. That looks great. It doesn't really look like pudding, though. It looks like yogurt or whatever, but... Okay, I'm gonna call it pudding. We took over this island because I don't think it's... Oh, no, it, it still says mutants. Oh, no, it's no longer red. That's it. We claimed the island, ladies and gentlemen. We did claim the island... Now, let's take the resources. Let's learn the stuff. And then the repair station. I don't know what do we need for it. Uh, but we need things. Air filling station and uh, armor thing. Used for crafting model modern helmets and bulletproof vests. We could craft the armor thing. The armor station. Paying a peaceful visit to the neighbors. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Okay, let's destroy everything here on the island. And then let's place here our flag. And then let's destroy that flag. And then this place will no longer say mutants. Did we get any unique resources, though? I mean, we did get some rubber. That's kind of what the doctor ordered. Okay, our base is not getting attacked. That's great. If you allow you to put flag, it is clear. What? Yeah, but at the same time, we need the resources. So I might as well just gather the resources anyways. Plus, I like to see the 100% of the island. Maybe I'll find something interesting, because so far it's only at 53%. Go into the neighbor and ask them if you could borrow a cup of sugar. Yes, indeed, that's what I asked here, basically. So yeah, the pistol here, the revolver is kind of weird. Again, obviously there are like little quirks with the game. Like As I said, when we zoom in, I don't know if you can see this right, but the iron sights don't really line up with the green dot that we have here. So where do I aim at the green dot or at that? And when you aim, it's kind of confusing. It's kind of hard to see the the iron sight here. But that probably makes sense because it's like a cheap revolver. So it's not supposed to be amazing, but yeah. All right, we got some scrap metal and that island has more enemies. So next thing, we should take care of that island as well. I don't even know. Okay, reduced hunger and thirst rates. Okay. Whatever you say, boomer. So this is at 74 now. 
percent. Okay, I see another pile of junk that we need to get. Wait, before we get that stuff, though, we need to drop some stuff in the boat. Whoa! How do we just go up like this? Okay. We could even replicate it. Skirt. Okay. Uh, we're gonna drop, what else, the beans. And Reiki Bomb, thanks for uh, becoming a member. Thanks for smashing the join button. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for supporting the channel. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Reiki Bomb. Thanks for being here. Welcome, welcome. And yeah, we're gonna get the rest of the scrap metal, the rest of the rubber. And you know what? I think it was worth it to get this place for sure. We needed rubber for whatever items, for everything, basically. And we got it. And it's at 89%, so we should have some more things here somewhere, except I can't see them. So how do I get this thing to 100% unless some stuff is underwater? It's at 95%. There's got to be something else. I just I kind of want to get it and be done. Perhaps these guys were not loaded. Still at 95. There's got to be something else. Yo, Eric Langster. Thank you. Thank you for being a member for 15 months. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support here on the channel. I really appreciate that. And you're the master game player. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Eric. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Master game player, huh? And this master game player can't find the last, like, barrel or something. We need to find something else, and then it'll be at 100%. I don't see where that could be. Don't forget to loot the dead zombies. I am trying to loot them. All right. Yeah, maybe there's nothing there. Whatever, I'm not gonna go to 100% then. It's gonna be impossible. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Okay, the flag requires five more wood, so let's get that wood and let's place a flag here and then let's destroy it. There's something underwater. I mean, I can't find it. I cannot bloody find it. Yeah, I don't think there is anything underwater. Unless, like, it's very, very deep, but... That wouldn't make much sense now, would it? The ship down there, what? How about I get the air tank? Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. Yeah, just basically swim around the island at the very bottom. Yeah, this island had nothing else. Whatever. Maybe it's bogged. Maybe I did miss something. I guess that is all right. However, what's not all right is us not building this thing. Not building the flag. 
Uh, this. We could have cleared more islands instead of loading this goop. However, let's get a flag. Let's place it. And uh, now we can destroy it because we can see this flag from far away. There we go. Now it says that it's like our island when we are here, so that's great. It's no longer Mutant's Island. Okay, let's go back to the base. Let's drop off the resources and we're gonna take over another island. Why wouldn't we still have a lot of ammunition? So we can still take over another island easily. Let's drop the loot and let's loot more things. Probably the island, the radio island. I'm excited to go to that radio island. Maybe there'll be more monsters. Also, I want to loot one of these islands as I have never looted anything like that before. Whatever that is. So I also want to check that. There are many things that I want to check out. Also, I said that we will craft the repair station. But yet, here I am. This and the repair station needs... Uh, I don't even have a repair station. Oh, there is one. It's pretty cheap. Can be used to repair equipment. Okay, so scrap metal and components. Scrap metal and components. As I said, we're going to craft it, so let's craft it. The repair station, huh? The repair station is very cheap. Okay, we're going to build it here. It's only 4 p.m. So we have enough time to take over like whatever other island. The repair station will probably go here. Why not? Bam. Beautiful. Oh, you just click a few times and you repair everything without using any resources? Isn't that cool? It's kind of cool. How's the Gulag project going? Uh, for those who don't know, the Project Gulag is this base that we have here, the square. It doesn't even have a roof. And I'd say it's going really great so far. The Project Gulag is going amazing. We've gotten a revolver. And it's just perfect. Okay, we need some more copper. I think we got attacked. Maybe I'm just imagining. I think I'm imagining, though. Man doesn't need a roof. He needs loot. Exactly! It's like you took these words out of my mouth. Uh, let's try to cook some bird meat. Let's eat the food. Um, that's great. The brain is not braining. I did drop something here. Okay, this thing. One more pistol bullet. And hey, we need to empty our boat. I am kind of scared now. We haven't been attacked in two days. What does that tell me? That once they attack me, I'll be demolished. So yeah, repairing in this game is actually awesome. All we have to do is just like come here. Hit this repair button a few times and that's it and everything gets repaired uh, like in Valheim in Valheim You get to the repair bench you click once boom and everything gets repaired So here is very similar. I like that um, This goes there uh, Here the skirt goes like wherever garbage here Food items and another pair of binoculars that we don't need. Okay, we did it. So, what did I say the next goal is? Another island real quick. Let's take over another island. Well, it's not too late. I'm sure we can do it quite easily. Wait, first of all, let's save the game before it crashes. Again, it crashed for me once in six hours. And I do know that another six hours haven't passed yet, but we never know. 
Are these attackers with us in the room right now? This is insane. Perhaps. Maybe I am one of those attackers. Right, the last one you've seen. It's kind of late right now. It's almost 6 p.m. So I'm probably going here. Wait, was it this one? Yeah, whatever. Let's go towards this. We're going to loot this whatever goopy island real quick. It shouldn't take us that much time, but it's kind of getting late. However, we still have like two or three in-game hours. That's about like maybe four or five minutes. It should be quick, hopefully. If it ain't quick, then it's McDonald's. For those who don't know, there's a quick uh, restaurant. By restaurant, I mean a fast food place. Smash like, smash subscribe for these epic jokes that need explanation. Alright. Bro was swimming. Couldn't hit it. Oh no. No! My boat! My bloody boat. These are pirates! Dude, these are pirates! Right? I got a machete. So these are not basic enemies. Okay, so you can't really shoot them through water. It's not how it works. Okay, how about I shoot this guy? Okay, got it. Okay, I'm gonna reload my pistol real quick. They have guns. Well, guess what? I got a gun as well. I got a gun of my own. Your base is under attack, it says! Bruh! Where is my base? My base is under attack there. I see it now. Sayonara, schmucks. See you later, gators. We gotta go and uh, protect the base. I just realized that we had that, like, red thing here, but I just didn't click, like, whatever red text on the screen. Monkey brain goes, brr. I'm going. I'm going. We need a boat. We need a motorboat, ladies and gentlemen. Sit him out of stamina. The game gives me vibes of Leviathan manga. I have no idea what that is, but whatever. Is this karma? There's no such thing as karma in this game. Probably it is karma, though. Oh, no. They're destroying it. Oh, no. Okay, so let's try to... Protect... Our own base. Oh, wow. And I don't want to waste all of my bullets on these guys. Whoa! They destroyed everything! Bruh! You psychos! My furnace! My bloody furnace! No! So maybe I should be working on upgrading my base defenses. No. No! Well, at least they didn't destroy everything, right? They didn't get to the main loot. Idiots! They don't even know where to raid. They don't even know what to do. Donuts. Bloody donuts. So these were... Whatever dudes they were. Pirates, right? Gulag has fallen. It's fine. It'll grow stronger. <laughs> well, hopefully our Gulag will go str grow stronger. For real. Uh, Alright. Let's store some loot. Upgrade the walls to max bit by bit. We should be working towards that. Except, wait. How does one get stronger walls... Uh, what do we need for them? Um, dude, I don't like the system. Every time, uh, maybe it's a good system. I'm just an idiot. Okay, we need iron walls for it. Yikes! Yikes! We need iron for that. Okay. Okay, let's go to sleep. And let's quickly sort out our inventory. Hey. Sort that, this, some 
food. So we need to build more stuff. Let's just get scrap metal. Because we can build these things with scrap metal. Did they get away? We killed them. I killed all of them. However, they still got here. We need to start building like defenses around the base. That's like probably the main thing that I need to do right now. Okay, let's build a door. Let's build another wall. And let's build another metal door. There we go, guys. Our base is getting stronger. What else did I have here? A chest and a furnace, and that's it. So I didn't really lose much. I just had a chest and a fur. The furnace was expensive. Bruh, the furnace was eight rubber. Which, we don't even need a furnace right now. Thank you. I kind of wanted to destroy that furnace anyways. Yeah, so thanks, pirates. Thanks. We need to start building walls around this base, correct? Metal defensive wall. Okay, it is pretty small, though. Uh, wooden barricade, barbed wire... Do I build the barbed wires around the base? I don't even know what to build. Metal armor plate. Okay, that's very small. A tire stacked. A barricade. A metal defense will cost 12. Barbed wire costs 7. Make a double wall like in last. And I should probably do this. Like, maybe I'm just gonna build a honeycomb base and that's it, like, with an extra layer of protection around it. And that's it, that's gonna be, like, the dumbest thing. But it'll work, probably. Like, honestly, that's that's probably the silliest yet the smartest thing to do. But at the same time, we need to be able to protect the base from the outside. I don't know, man. It's... Lots of things are needed. Whatever, let's start working on the base then. Let's get these metal foundations. Oh no, I didn't get any scrap metal. Build a bar and cool with pirates. Feed them beer. That's a good idea. Bruh. I'm legitimately building an outer wall just to bait those schmucks. <laughs> only here, only right now. But they can also destroy this stuff. We need to start moving the loot into this base. <sighs> um, more metal walls needed. I'm also gonna add some windows. Uh, metal walls have 2k health and windows also have 2k health. Okay, cool. I'm curious how much health max have, though. If windows has 2k health. Okay, there will be a door frame. And let's build some windows. said we are out of scrap metal ladies and gents we need more scrap metal that's good now we needed a motorboat i used up all the scrap metal so i cannot craft another motorboat i don't think so yeah i used up everything <gasps> so let's go on an adventure boomers Let's go. We have upgraded the base a bit, if we can even call that upgrade. And let's go to that island. Let's continue destroying it. Can you use defense walls against... Instead of regular defense walls. I think they're more expensive. Defense walls cost 12, and this thing costs only... 4. So I can craft many more of these walls, and... By the time they get through this, they'll have to go through these walls. So that will be something. Yeah. Okay, I have a bandage. I have some healing items. That's it. Let's hop on the boat and let's continue looting that place. Perhaps. 
I mean, we just got attacked, right? We cannot get attacked twice in a row. That's not how it works, correct? Right? Wood walls have 3,000 health, maybe. We'll see. Like, we need resources now anyways. I don't have that much wood. I only have, like, what, 40, 50, 60, 100 wood? I don't know how much wood we have, but I, that we don't have a lot. Is it this thing? No, that's floating refuge. It's not where we gotta go. Wait, why am I... Why am I here? What was I looting? Was I looting this? Keep, bar keep barbed wires between the two walls. Extra defense. Maybe. I'm gonna start probably building, like, walls around the base as well. It's just an extra precaution because it looks like they more and more of them attack us. I won't have enough bullets for these guys, will I? Okay, let's go back to destroying... These guys. Okay, where are they though? There's a dude on the top. Okay, they started shooting me, that's not great. However, I can shoot back. Okay, I got that. Anybody else? Okay, there's another dude. Okay, they're taking cover. Oh no, I gotta reload. I have only seven bullets left. I'm glad these dudes can't shoot. They're even worse than me, that's good. There's another dude walking. Okay, that other dude is dead. There's gotta be somebody else there. Oh my goodness, just drive. Are we done? I'm gonna save here. I'm not even sure if I die, like, will everything disappear? Probably. When you die, maybe the game auto-saves. Alright, I only have three more bullets here. Wait, is that it? Is it... No, it's still red. That means there are still some mercenaries here. I have only four more bullets, so maybe I'll, that'll be enough to kill one of these guys. We're gonna start looting very soon. I just need to go to the top. Okay, empty. Perhaps I'll get some bullets in this locker. Uh, bandana. And armor and goop. Thanks, I don't want it. Okay, nice headshot. And is it red? Okay, it's still red. That means there's still one more enemy. And case Green, thanks for the super chat. Sorry for butchering your name. Good work. Thanks for introducing uh, new survival games. Thanks, K. Thank you. Thanks for the super chat. I'm glad that you're enjoying new games. Welcome, welcome. And okay, there's another ladder. For a second, I lost here. I'm surprised with the variety of locations, not gonna lie. Yeah, that's what I love about this game as well. Like, not all of them are the same. Like, it's... They're all the time different. And it's not like they're extremely different, different. But they are different. And it is interesting to loot them. I'm loving it. There are, like, islands. There are, like, these floating, like, whatever on Earth those are. Then there are a bunch of islands underwater. There's like this kind of island. I haven't seen anything like that before in this game, and I have no idea what we can find there. So it is kind of interesting. Okay, how about we sneak up? Okay, I think that's it. We got him. There we go. It's no longer red. We killed all of them. We took over the island, ladies and gents. Now, let's loot this place. Okay, we got more pistol bullets. Let's dip out, right? Let's get the stuff and let's dip out more bullets. That's beautiful. Did we get any profit from this place? Probably. We needed scrap metal. We needed everything anyways. So instead of just like looting underwater, we can loot up here. 
that's what I also love about this game, that they just didn't focus on underwater stuff. They made islands interesting. We do have a lot of uh, crossbow bolts. I'm watching you since 2000. Why is your haircut still the same, says FF Jord? What am I supposed to do with it? What am I supposed to change my haircuts every three hours? All right, let's get more scrap metal. Goop, goop. Uh, are we gonna destroy the bed? I don't know. Again, we could perhaps sell these things, but I don't think they actually pay a pretty penny for that. Percentage 52. Maybe we could get a better loot on the island. I think there are way too many of these like simple chairs that we can destroy for some pieces of wood. I don't know. But in any case, we still need loot, so let's get it. I miss the classic Cyric with the bandana. There's only one video where I wore in the bandana, like literally only one video. Okay, I needed to eat that anyways. Now let's put some stuff in the boat. The good old boat. The diamond ring. Wow. I did get some rubber, so hey, we will be able to rebuild that furnace. Great. Is that like a grow bed or something? Maybe we can grow something on this thing if we build one like that in our base. And it's at 90%, so we are not done fully yet here. Got 10 more percent, except nothing on this floor. Whoops. Okay, there's something here. I saw it. There was a hand. Okay, there's one more table that we could destroy. You put your bullets in the raft. Oh no, did I? I'm sorry. I'll have to go back and get them. Thanks for letting me know though, as I would be searching for them. It's at 95%. Again, we have 5% somewhere. Thing. A lot of nothingness. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's get that. Maybe there's something underwater. A hidden chest again. Of course, there's a hidden chest. Unless it doesn't count if I don't take these things out. How about I take it? Does it work now? Oh, yes. Maybe I was supposed to take everything. Now it's at 100%. Okay, I kind of don't want to bring this goop, though. I'm just going to drop it and hopefully it despawns. Yeah, you can't delete it, so I don't know. In any case, let's hop on the boat and let's go back to our island. Oh, there's one more thing that we haven't looted. Oh, no, this is a different one. This is a floating refuge. We will need to do something with it. In any case, we still have enough time, so let's go to the base. Let's drop the resources. I need to start moving chests to my main base now, to the Gulag. They say recycle them. Oh, maybe we could recycle this stuff. It's like trashing the ocean. Let's just keep that between me and you. Be 
We didn't put the flag. I don't think we have to put a flag and destroy it. I don't really know what that does. I'm just doing it on, for the memes. I don't think they can respawn. If you kill all of them, they, they, they don't respawn. So I don't think we need to, we needed to put a flag. Honestly, I don't know what flags do. I was just putting them for the memes. Psyche is also cleaning the ocean. Yeah, I'm cleaning it a little bit and trashing a bit. So yeah, I think I deserve to trash it a little bit for cleaning it. Have you completed Dying Light 1? Yes, I've completed Dying Light 1 and Dying Light 2 and Dying Light 1 DLC, the following. And all that stuff is here on YouTube. I also completed the Dying Light 2 DLC. Crazy. Okay, let's get some of these things. Actually, I can take everything. Wow, that thing is loud. Scrap metals, rubbers. I'm gonna keep rubber here in this chest. We have 30 something rubber. That's great. Actually, 40 something. That's insane. That is honestly, ladies and gentlemen, ridiculous. Some more comps. A random item goes to there. Uh, now food and gasoline is in this chest. All right, we did it. We somewhat, some way sorted out our. Yeah, we did it. We sorted that out. Uh, however, even if they come here and destroy stuff, it's not like they steal loot, right? So they won't steal any iron from me, hopefully. All right, we need more scrap metal and uh, we need more gunpowder as in one of these chests. I did store some gunpowder. Where is it? There we go, nine gunpowder. How about we build some more bullets? Okay, that's a lot of bullets, that's great. Now, how much more scrap metal do we have here? This. Oh, that's it. That's almost nothing. We have only like 30 something scrap metal. That's not enough to craft new items. There's nothing really new to craft. Okay, everything is repaired. We should go on. on another adventure while we still have the time. Still have the bandage and healing items and, uh, and other stuff. When did you complete Dying Light 1? Maybe a year or two years ago? Three years ago? Do you think she'll sell me something new again? I don't know. However, we got the floating refuge. Let's go to the floating refuge. This thing over there. The radio island. We should also go to the radio island. But I think this floating refuge is closer. Then after that, we should go to the to the other island. Plus, we need more scrap metal. I don't know where we get more scrap metal. It feels like we get more scrap metal underwater than here. Okay, there's another boat. That I'm sure I haven't looted. Can you have helpers like in Mist Survival? I have no idea. Like in Mist, yeah, I have no idea. How big is the map? It's like this. So we have explored, I'd say, maybe 40%. 30, 40%. Yeah, this game definitely has a lot of things. It is definitely still in our early access. Not everything is perfect. This game has bugs, etc., etc. At least it doesn't have insects. Oh, wow. Now these schmucks. Okay, let's get them. Alright. Okay, couldn't... 
Well, we gotta get closer. Also, this boat will be destroyed soon. That's not cool. Kind of big. Yeah, it is kind of big. Whoops, missed it. I just got shot. I just got shot. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna shoot those guys first. Okay, that dude is still alive. How on earth are you still alive? Dead now. Okay. Again, maybe it's not a good way to deal with them like that. But, I mean, how else am I going to fight them? Honestly, I don't know if the combat is intended like that. Is it called cheesing your way? I am a cheese master. How else are you supposed to fight them, right? That's normal. I don't think it's like completely cheesing. I don't think it's like completely unfair. Like what? Am I supposed to go here with no bandages with my just fists? And that's it? I think it's completely fair. What else am I supposed to do? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna loot this thing very soon. Okay, this dude is dead. Okay, we got it. Uh, are they done? Nope. The floating refuge. Die, schmuck! Are we done? Yes, we're done, ladies and gentlemen. We took over the island. We took over the island. Good. How about we loot them now? We had to use, like, what, 40 bullets on it. decent amount of bullets. Can you play this game on PS? I'm not sure. Sweet. Talk them and stab them in the back. Hmm. Sadly, I don't know how to sweet talk. Okay. Nothing here. Nothing in the cabin. Thing. However, we are getting some scrap metal here. And that's what we need to upgrade our base. We also need more iron. We need a lot of stuff. I can't even imagine what will be our next attack on the base. Grenade does the talk for you, Cyric. Or the bullets. Floating refuge and there was nothing in it. Like, no refuge. No actual refuge. Uh, more water. Will I get any bullets? There we go. There's the main chest, probably. Correct? What do we get here? Three crab meat, some energy drink, some sulfur, and that's it. Well, that was a crappy chest. And this is like... Kind of far away from our base, so why is it... Kind of goopy. However, loot is loot. It's at 67% so far. Wow, so I'm sure there are more things that we can take here. Okay, let's drop some stuff back in the boat. It's at 73 now. What else can we get? Okay, I see another barrel. Seeing it go up to 100% is kind of cool. Also, it said that this place is filled with mutants. But I don't know if they look like mutants. They look like something else. 80%. Bruh. Where 
do the other stuff. Oh, here we go. We got some Pepsi. Say stack bullets. Wait, didn't I stack them? Oh, I just did. Thanks for the info. Now it's at 93%. Not destroy the mattress. Oh, there are the robber tires. Okay. Is it now at 100? Yes, at 100, ladies and gents. That is it. We have looted this thing fully. And even though I don't know why we need that flag here, but I am going to put it. Wait, I cannot place another flag. Flags were here usually. Wait, did it disappear? Oh, there we go. There's the flag actually. Okay, let's destroy it so that... There we go, we did it. Now it says the floating refuge. Wait, sun can land there. Okay. Let's go back to the base. With the loot that we got. Was it any good? We did get some scrap. And some whatever other goop. It's been a while since we've looted anything underwater. So how about we sleep... And let's go underwater because underwater trips give us a lot of resources. Oh, there's something even here. I don't even know if I want to get there. Imagine the amp of scrap you can get from this boat. Yeah, that's a lot of scrap metal, but yet we didn't get anything. Well, we cannot dismantle that boat. Also, speaking of boats, there's one more boat there. Interesting. How did this man stares and destroys stuff? I don't know. You have to hold that. And then he destroys it. Build a motorboat. We also have to build a motorboat. I just don't know for how long that fuel lasts, but we should probably try. I'm just scared that, hey, if I go somewhere and I'm out of fuel, what am I going to do? Okay, we're back in our island. Let's sleep. Oh, I cannot even sleep yet. That's beautiful. Uh, that means I can cook food while we are waiting to sleep. There we go. Let's go to sleep. We woke up at 6 in the morning. Okay. Let's quickly drop some things that we don't need. Where's my boat? Build a submarine. I haven't unlocked a submarine yet. I don't even know if the submarine's in the game. To be completely honest with you. Build a submarine with torpedoes. I think you are confusing the game. Okay, my dude is thirsty. We do have a lot of rubber, which is great. I'm glad that I haven't built a second furnace because I wanted to build two furnaces. So both of those furnaces would have been destroyed by now. That would have been very sad. We did get some more sulfur for more bullets. That's what the doctor ordered. This goes there and then the oil. Plus, I sorted out the base. Hopefully, they don't destroy it. So, I want to go outside now. However, I am scared. What if my base gets attacked? Huh? What am I going to do then? How did I... Why did I drop scrap metal there? That makes no sense. Okay, we have some more scrap metal. For the Titanic ship. There's a ship here. This one. We should go towards it. Maybe that should be our next underwater journey. Maybe that's what we'll do. Okay, so while we have the time, 
I kind of want to go and explore that underwater Titanic thing, but at the same time, I want to build a base. Mm -hmm. So how about we protect it? Uh, this and the uh, door we is already here. We just need now this metal door. Yeah, that is something. There we go. So now for them to get to the loot, they'll have to destroy this and then... Only then they can get inside. Okay. That gets my approval. However... Am I gonna be building the roof? It's not like they they have helicopters. So they won't be able to land inside of my base. I'm not building a roof yet. I'm min-maxing here, and if I can save resources... I'm gonna save them. So, how about we get the defenses? The wooden defense has 3k, and this thing has 5k. The metal defense wall, but it does require lots of scrap. Get wood in the base. Raiders busted his furnace, yes indeed, they destroyed it. So honestly, I don't even know how they attack us. Like, do they come here with boats or do they just spawn... ...on this island? I don't know. However, I want to start building things around the base. Make a honeycomb. That's too many resources, but we could, but at the same time, I think it's- Look at our base from the top! I mean, the base from the top looks kind of sick. That's great. We could also add the second floor there, if needed. But yeah, here I want to build- Do we just build things around the base like that, or do I build walls around this place? I don't even know how I build walls. Can they jump up? Can they do anything? I don't know. How much wood I got? We got some wood here. And a bit of wood here. We do have more wood than, than, than scrap metal. Let's see how it'll look like with, with wood. Can't you build on top of the big stone you're standing? S can't enemies even climb? I don't know if they can climb. That is actually a good idea. I don't know why I haven't thought of that. Maybe I am a literal donut. Alright, if I go to the very top and we start, like, building... I know these wooden... You can! So we could build a base here. But if they can climb, then... Where do I defend it from? I'll be able to climb from this, from that. I don't know. I don't even know. Soon Raiders will have a pogo stick. Is that true? Can they actually have pogo sticks? Okay, that's a tiny wall that we could build here. Like, boom, boom. Then a few more walls. Boom, boom. But they'll just go through these walls and that's it. I don't even know. That'll be nothing. We don't have enough wood. We don't have enough resources. Build up hill. We should also be building up hill. Well, for now it's fine. Like... Hopefully my loot won't despawn here. Because we do have a decent amount of scrap metal and other stuff. the decoy base. I'll be completely honest with you. Like, this entire island is probably a decoy island. Okay, this thing is empty. Alright, let's drop the rest of the loot and let's go underwater. 
while it's still morning. If our base gets attacked in the morning, it's fine. Or during the day. I'll come back and defend it. Now we have two layers. Unless they attack this wooden base, then that's it. They'll destroy everything. And the motorboat! We gotta craft the motorboat now. We need scrap metal, rubber, and components. Easy. Rubber is components and scrap metal. Our first boat, ladies and gentlemen. Once you loot every location, how do you progress? There is no loot left. You're asking a good question, but at the same time, there are still so many islands. And by the time you loot all of these islands, I guess you'll be done with the game. I don't know. There's still a bunch of loot underwater. Oh no, it's a tiny boat. I thought it would be bigger. However, let's build it. I did build our first boat. We have a chest. We could add some fuel. Can I... Uh, yeah, that's it. If we are out of fuel, we are out of fuel. Actually, I feel like I just got, got bamboozled. So when you start the game, the islands are randomly generated. I am not 100% sure. They might be actually not randomly generated. This might be handcrafted. Can somebody confirm or deny that? Are these islands handcrafted or... I'm pretty sure everything here is handcrafted. Like, you get the same spawn points all the time, probably. I might be, like, completely wrong, though. But do you have the same islands? I think we have the same islands, though. Okay, how much fuel do we have? 10 canisters. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm pretty sure this motorboat is going to be garbage. I think this thing is the best. Yeah, at least that's what I think. Whatever, in case things go south, we can only push and walk. Maybe the islands remain the same, just change location. Maybe. Maybe. Before I started the game, I did launch it once to see how it runs, and I spawned on the same island with the same tent and everything. So maybe the islands are the same, but they are in different spots. Maybe, or maybe everything is the same. I have no idea. Okay, we don't need anything else besides the water. Let's take a sip of water. Well, they did not attack me. I'm sure they'll attack me during the day when, once I'm gone. Well, we'll see. How much health does this motorboat have? 3k and the other boats have 3k as well. Yikes. Okay, let's check it out then. Um, it is 80 kilometers an hour. I can go 60 kilometers an hour with my other boat. It can go 90, 95. I mean, it is faster, okay? Sure. Yeah, the other one says that we are going 60 kilometers an hour, but there's no way it goes that fast. Yeah, it is pretty cool. The boat is pretty cool. We can even turn off the HUD here. And there we go. Okay, discovered new location, a storm born outpost. Where is it though? Okay, the Neptune has to be somewhere here. It's the same islands. Yeah, I believe that it's the same islands. Because I don't think that would be randomly generated. 
These islands are too unique to be randomly generated. Okay, we got here. How about we go underwater? Hmm. I'm gonna drop some of these. I definitely took way too many crossbow bolts. I didn't get my scooter thing. However, it is what it is. Let's go underwater. Oh no. Oh lord, that shark. Can I see it from here? It's like, check the fuel consumption. I mean, we used like 0.5 liters or whatever fuel just to get here. It is expensive. It's not worth it in my humble opinion. Okay, how about I get my... I don't think we it works. I don't think I can cheese my way this way. Unless it does work. It worked! It totally worked! I killed that dude, I cheesed my way, ladies and gents. Hell yeah. I don't know how else you're supposed to do this, but I did it. Okay, what do we have here? Hammer a shark, right? Sharks can always just a basic shark. Bloody lovely. Okay, I don't even need to breathe up there because we have this thing. Okay, whatever. So let's get the spear then and let's start looting. Let's get to looting, ladies and gentlemen. It's like went from the first century to the 20th century with the new boat. Yes, indeed. Oh, fuel. Oh, no, not really. Just got chemical substance. So I did cheese my way. I don't think that's how you were supposed to fight that shark, but hey. I'm, I'm not French, but I do live in France. So I like cheese. Alright. We got more gun parts, some pistol ammo. Some good old cheese. Finally, at least underwater locations give us better loot than those islands. However... You can also probably find some good loot on the islands. But yeah, underwater seems to give you better loot. Maybe makes sense, I don't know. Okay, is there anything else? How do I get here? How do I go in? I don't know. Oh, there's a chest. A bloody amazing chest. We've got an ore detector. Let's read these blueprints. Let's switch our air tank to a better one. Let's get the GP20. Broken tactical vest, a shirt, a bunch of other random loot. Okay, and how about we go to our boat? Game balanced. Underwater scrap island for wood. Probably. But where's my boat? That's not my boat. My boat is here. This one. I almost swam to, to my island. That would have been very sad. Oops, the thing is full. How about I get some fuel? I add more fuel. Yeah, the fuel is gonna be a problem. I'm telling you right now. Okay, is that just sulfur? It must be just sulfur. Oh, that's copper or underwater. Whatever, I already started mining it, so I will get it. But right, we should be getting different things first. Better stuff. Lutopia, yes indeed. A lot of scrap metal. And rubber and everything we need. 
We'll probably have to come back here. There's no way I'll get everything in one go. I'll need to come back to this place with another air tank. So yeah, I'll probably drive back to the base, I'll drop off the loot. And I'm coming back here again as we've looted only like, what, 20 something? Something 6%. My goodness, I thought that's a sp I thought that's another person with diving fins. I don't know why I thought that. I think you can make your own fuel, probably, but again, it will require some other resources, like probably chemical substance that I've just gotten. Okay, let's loot this, and then let's come back here, as it's only at 31%, so yeah, there are still so many things to loot. Okay, let's get one more thing at the bottom. Let's go to the base. Let's drop off whatever we've got in here and then let's come back here again. We will refill the tanks. Yes. Okay, where is my boat? Already lost it. There we go. Oh, we can change the color to orange, whatever. Let's go. Island's gotta be that way. However, this is the trader, I'm sure. How about we go to the trader? Dude, this boat is great! You know what? At first I thought it's goop, but honestly, it's pretty great. It's better than that other boat. On scale from 1 to 10, how much do you like this game? Again, I don't like giving a number, but I like it. Right, I am actually interested. I haven't been interested in a survival game for a really long time. It's, it's very unique. Like that's all I have to say. It's just unique. It's interesting. Are you looking to buy? Okay, she's not selling anything interesting. She's selling another underwater scooter. Hmm. I'd like to buy some batteries from her. Um. I think I know how we're gonna get them. I'll just bring her. Whatever goop. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'll do. I'll bring her goop, and she'll sell me goop. There are special items that you can give to her, that you can sell. Alright, let's go back to the island. I think what makes this game a lot better is that your base can get attacked. I think without that feature, it would be... Uh, I wouldn't be as excited to play, to be honest. I don't know if I'd be actually even playing it. Like, that's how huge that feature is. I don't like... It's not like I don't like games, but... It makes no sense to build a base. But like, if the game has base building and my base is not constantly attacked, then why would I defend my base? Why would I build a bigger base? Like... I'm not really into base building, as you can see. Look at my base here. Like somebody called it Gulag, right? It looks like Gulag, but I had to build it. If it wasn't for that, like, I'd still be living in one by one shack. That's why would I build a big, bigger base? But here, like, I know that I am not alone. My base can get destroyed, so I have to improve it little by little. And I like that. But again, that's just my opinion. Uh, this goes there. It has a good foundation. If they keep expanding on it with updates and improvement, it can get very far, says Insane. Absolutely. I mean, to be honest, I'm already, like, surprised that it has a decent amount of content. Like, I've definitely seen games with less content. I don't know what's the replayability of this game. Like, once you beat it, like, will it... Will you want to play it again? I have no idea. Is it a game where you spend like maybe 20 hours in it and then that's it? You just delete it? I don't know. However, as of right now, it is very fun for me. Sell the paddle boat. I don't think it's possible. How about I take all of that? Oh my goodness, it's so loud. Some of the UI elements in this game are... I don't know, weird. Like, I mean, just look at this inventory, right? The icons and everything here doesn't really look solid. Like, if you if you see this thing for the first time, you'll just think about it. Eh, I don't know, like... Amateur game. But the, the gameplay is fun. 
Even though, like, this, like, UI isn't probably, like, the best. Oh, no, I need another chest for more scrap metal. Unbelievable. I thought we'll have enough time to go back to that thing, but we'll probably have to sleep. Whatever, I'm going to place another chest here. Scallops are great for trading resources also. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Uh, do I have any more shark skin? Nope. I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna drop my garden parts here. My shirt, and we have another uh, more random items that I don't know where to drop. Uh, are there bosses in seven days to die? What bosses? I mean, it's not seven days to die, but if you're asking if there are bosses like in seven days to die that I don't know. do have too many crossbow bolts. I need to do something about that. And hey, I need to sell her these items, right? Let's go to the trader because I need to buy some more batteries for that uh, underwater scooter. I still have one battery, but that's not enough. I said scallops are great. Okay, so let's get these scallops. Wait, is that it? I don't have anything else to give to her. I have like some armor probably. Okay, diamond ring. Okay, let's give her those items then. And some more skirts. Okay. Guess that is something. However, do we go there now? I mean, we still have some time. I can't go to sleep now anyways. So how about we sell everything and then we come back. Barrels are much better than chests. You can stack them, says Hankimana. Welcome to the stream, mate. Welcome, welcome. Wait, you can stack chests as well. You can put chests on top of chests. I just put them like that because I don't trust to put them one on top of another. But I'm almost sure that you can also stack chests unless that's not what you meant. Like, here I can put another chest on top of this chest, but it'll be hard for me to access it because they're already, like, kind of clumped up together. But you can place them on top of it as well. Unless that's not what you meant by stacking barrels. Check the paddle boat. I don't know if we have anything in the paddle boat. But we also have to pump air. We're going to pump air once we come back because we're not going to go there in the night. I really need to get electronic circuits or whatever they're called. Because it is getting dark. Yeah, going backwards is much better. On this boat. Yeah, my next goal is to get the, the headlight. Do you like the rusty look in the game? The rusty look? I think I know what you mean. It reminds me of Rust and Seven Days to Die. But the graphics do remind me a lot of Seven Days to Die. And yeah, I don't mind this look. Hey, check it out. Alright, we're gonna give her... I need batteries. One, two, three batteries. A diamond ring. Not enough. A shirt. Not enough. Two skirts. Not enough. A bottle of wine. She says, not bad. Okay. Do I need anything else from her? Oh, we have electronic parts! How about I buy those three electronic parts? Scallops, mobile phones, perfumes. She says not enough. Oh no, oh no. Okay, for if I don't take one battery, if I just get these three electronic parts, then she's happy with it. So maybe I should get it. Did you play Raft? Yes, I played Raft and I finished it on the channel. We've beaten the story mode. Because that's enough. 
Okay, she says, fine, we can have a deal. Oh, I'm, I can get even some scrap metal from her for free. I guess that's a decent amount of loot, right? We're gonna give her all of that that I don't need anyways. And in return, I will get two batteries and electronic scraps. It was the bottle of wine. Absolutely. I gave her the bottle of wine, a mobile phone, and the diamond ring. That's it. Let's have a deal. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business with you. I'd like to to see traders expanded. It would be cool if they had like some maybe reputation, if you could unlock more items from them. If you could maybe, I don't know, get tasks from them or something. However, these traders are also like almost, maybe not copies of Seven Days to Die, but in Seven Days to Die, there are traders like that with these neon signs and yeah, but those traders do give tasks. Stuff you don't need for yourself, you do need. I don't know, says Rudy. I was what? Damn, bro, got her a ring. Well, I had to do it. We got those electronic circuits, so now I can craft a headlamp. Hell yeah. And it's the next day. Now, what's the time? 10. So yeah, also another thing that I want to be changed in this game is sleeping. Because every time you go to sleep, the time just keeps pushing forward and forward. And then after a couple of nights, you just have to skip. Just have to work during the night. Okay, let's restore some thirst with baked beans, some Pepsi. Uh, this. All right. Now, electronic circuits because we had to do things, right? The headlamp. Oh, no, I'll just be able to research it and that's it. I won't be able to craft anything. We could craft a recycler, but even then I cannot craft a recycler. Because I won't have enough electronic parts. Maybe she'll restock on those electronic parts. Maybe. Maybe. All right, let's drop these. I'll drop that. I'm gonna get my scooter. Soon we'll be able to recharge it. Um, what else do I need? Okay, we need to re-pump these small air tanks. I am surprised that nobody attacked us yet. Is there a story to the game? I'm not sure. Oh, there are factions. Just realized that. Oh. So the Warheads tribe. I haven't seen those. There are 77 enemies in five islands. There are mutants. 10 enemies in three islands. Wait, I've destroyed... I don't know how many of them. When you kill them, does that mean... Is your goal to destroy all of that stuff? Maybe. Maybe, I'm not sure. Perhaps. Also, here you can see all the blueprints. All right. And there's this book with the story, but I mean, it doesn't progress further. Maybe we don't have any story yet. Make a generator for recharging. We don't have enough resources probably for anything. I just got that, those electronic circuits and I guess we'll have to keep them. You added extra words to my uh, statement and made it not make sense. Stuff you don't need for stuff you do need. I don't know. Okay, now I see the sentence. I didn't read it properly. Like, I'm just exchanging stuff I don't need for the stuff I do need. Seems legit. Will the base get attacked or no? How often they attack me? We've survived 20 days, though. As you can see in the top left corner. That's awesome. However... Where's the point of the game? That's an amazing question. Just like walking around the base because I'm scared that we might get attacked. 
Or maybe we won't. We can't constantly live in fear, right? Let's save. And let's go back to the Neptune thing. I love this boat. At first I thought it's garbage, but you know what? It is so much faster than the other boat that the other boat now is like a joke. That's all I have to say. That boat is a joke. Also, if my, bo if my base gets attacked, I can just quickly uh, go there. Correct? As I got this fast boat. Can you make traps like in seven days to die? You cannot dig here. In seven days to die, you can dig. And probably there are other traps. Again, I'm not really too familiar with seven days to die. Okay, we're not here yet. Engine sounds like a paper shredder. I never understood why people buy paper shredders. Can somebody explain? Like for legitimate waste. Like I know some people get paper shredders to get like some whatever tiny little pieces of paper for whatever reason. But like, do people actually actually shred paper like seriously? That's the question. What color can you change to? If you die, you choose to respawn random and you will respawn on the other nearest island from where you died. You keep things in the hot bar and backpack. You can pick up the... It says Hanke. Thank you. I haven't died yet, so that's good to know. I shouldn't have probably said that I haven't died yet, as we are going to die soon. However, that's good to know. Thank you. Alright, what other things... I haven't taken here. More scrap metals. What colors you can change to say? I don't really remember the thing. To shred paper. I mean, you get paper shredder to get paper. Yet, yeah, but I. Why would you shred paper? In my office, I do because I have a print card info and somebody could steal it. Oh, that makes sense. I mean, probably like in the office for some. Sensitive info needs to get shredded. Like, that makes sense. I get it. Alright. But there are people that buy them to keep it, keep it at home. I don't know. In any case, now I know more. Thanks. Makes sense. Paper shredder used for getting rid of evidence. Yeah, that's all I know in the movies. Like, every time there's a... Uh, the, the, the tax checkup, whatever's coming, they just shred all the papers. The entire office starts shredding papers. That's what I think paper shredders are for, to get rid of evidence. Paper shredders are needed to commit tax fraud and tax evasion. That's it. That's what they're used for. Okay, I can get another tank. can loot here. Smokeless powder! Well, we plus we've gotten some more gun parts. That's great. I dated a crazy guy who shredded his receipts like from gas station. Alright. <laughs> that does sound a little bit crazy. Oh, we got some more things. From the Neptune. Another diamond ring. Wait, are we done? It's, it's only at 70%. There are definitely more things to loot, yet I can't find anything. Paper shredder can be used as melee. The recycling? No. I mean, to recycle with a paper shredder? I don't know. Oh, another box. More gun, uh, gun parts. That's huge. 
These crates are massive, so there's still a lot of crates. But if it's at 71% now, if I loot this car, will it go up? Probably will. And I'll put a piece of meat in the shredder. I do have a paper shredder as well. By the way, I am a qualified paper shredder uh, mechanic. What can I say? 76%. Oh, well. Uh, we've looted this. I can loot more, but I don't have enough space. We got a lot of these gun parts. That's huge. That stuff is actually rare. Um. Okay, more bit. Okay, these binoculars are mine. Oh, there we go. I thought I cannot loot this. Okay, let's get this. Are we done? No, we're not done. My stream is having a stroke, says Insane. Is that true? Like, is everything lagging? For me, it says that it's not lagging. So I don't know what you're talking, Insane. It says for me clearly that you're not supposed to lag. So you are lying to me. That's the only answer. Do we have more things, like, for real? Nothing. No. Oh lord. There we go. We've been here. How I haven't looted this. How I haven't looted this! <gasps> okay, let's breathe real quick. It's at 83%. Different chair, toy bike. Okay. Have I looted this thing? I think so. Refreshed, and it seems uh, right now probably aliens messing with our satellites is insane. Probably. This is the only explanation. Go in. You know what? I feel like we have looted everything, but the game tells me otherwise. More rubber. Yes, indeed. Okay, anything else? There we go, this thing. It's at 88% only. Dude, how many more things can one find here? Excuse me, sir. Maybe there's nothing else we can get. Okay, another one of these. I'm losing my health. 90%. We are looting. Maybe I'm just gonna call it. It should be. If I loot these scallops, it's at 90%. Okay, so scallops do not count towards the task. Okay, there are some big gears. Maybe I can loot those. Check 
check the boat as well. I mean, I've checked everything, haven't I? Okay, these things cannot be looted. Um, I have looted this thing. There are like five more chests. I've checked the boat. But where's the entrance? Okay, that was a dolphin. I got scared for a second. Ores count as well, says Hanka. Okay, so maybe that's what's up then. Okay, how about we get an ore? Let's see if it's now at 90%. What if I get that ore fully? Will it go up? Then maybe it's just the ores. It's still at 90%. Maybe we need to destroy more ores for the percentage to go up. Recheck the rooms. I don't know what other rooms we can recheck. I rechecked... Like these rooms, it's empty. This room is also empty. Wow, I'm stuck! I'm panicking. Okay, it's fine now. I didn't even panic. Yeah, I cannot do anything with this boat. I don't know, whatever. Let's check this one and then let's skedaddle from this place. Now it's kind of dark that even if there is something, I don't think I'll see it. I think I'm just gonna skedaddle, get these scallops. And I will dip out. There's this one that we've looted. And that's it. Let's go to our boat and let's go back to the base. We've looted this Neptune. I don't think there's anything else. We've gotten the main loot. We've gotten a bunch of gun parts. I don't think there's much less left. Okay, my base is over there. Can you make a gun? We do have a gun. We have a revolver. We have an epic revolver. We are using a lot of fuel in this boat, though. Like, a lot of fuel. More than I'd like to admit. Maybe every five days our base gets attacked, but probably not true. My base was attacked more than just four times. This is day 20, so... I don't know what's going on. I don't know when they attack us. Scallops. The rubber. Potatoes. Craft a recycler. I don't have enough resources to craft the recycler. Sadly. Okay, so it is seven. Can we go to sleep? Not yet. You see, now it's already almost eight here. And yet, I still can't sleep. <gasps> Alrighty. Chemicals. Oh yeah, they didn't fit. Okay, let's now fit the chemicals. 
Um, the broken helmet will go here, probably. The fuel... I should keep the fuel with me. And the gun parts. How many gun parts do we have? Nine. And that's it. Do I have them in any other chests? I don't think so. Okay, we have three gun parts. Okay, I'm gonna keep them here then. There we go. We have 12 gun parts. Still cannot sleep. But we need more water. Let's quickly get more water while it's while we can't sleep. Let's do at least something. Oh, whoa! We're getting attacked. They're swimming. Oh, whatever. I have the pistol. Might as well just use it. They can shoot from the water. It's illegal. Bruh, it's totally illegal. I'm trying to get headshots. Who's shooting me? This dude... Is that it? Did I intercept an attack? So yeah, they do swim towards an island. They just don't spawn on top of the island. That's great. I like that. Get him, sorry. I, I think we got him. Yeah, that was very simple. We did it. Once we intercepted the attack, that was very, very simple. They did not stand a chance. I, all I wanted is just to get some water. Okay, plus my character is gonna get cold. But that's alright. Apologies for it being a bit dark. At least we have a little bit of light in the base. At least a little bit. So that's it. Now we are kind of safe. We'll be safe for a while. Still cannot sleep. It's already 12. And I still can't sleep. Craft the advanced purifier. You will It'll make life a lot easier, says Pedro. Probably you are right. Maybe let's do it. How expensive is it, though? What do I need for that advanced purifier? Advanced purifier. Okay, iron. Do I even have any iron? I don't have enough resources for it because I can only research it. We need more iron ore, so we need to go to whatever islands, probably. But yeah, we definitely need to get that. We need to get an advanced grill. There are things that we gotta get. Okay, I'll get this bucket of water. And can I go to sleep now? Yes, I can. Should I go to sleep now, though, or should I just wait? I'll wake up, like, in the middle. Uh, whatever, let's... Do I go to sleep? Yeah, whatever, I'll... Do I? It's like, it's already... Almost, uh... You got three bars, right? I don't know how many we, how much we got. We need uh, to just research it, but how many iron bars we'll need to, to build it? We'll see. Whatever. Let's try to research then this advanced purifier. This. What else do we need for it? Uh, rubber and glass. Glass and a little bit of rubber. Let's research that. Oh, we can craft a simple grill, simple purifier, an advanced purifier. I oh, know for that we need five iron ingots. <sighs> that is expensive. Sadly, I don't know how to have the resources for it. Not even close. We don't have enough iron ingots, so we need to go on another island, like wherever, to start mining more stuff. It's already 4 a.m., so it's almost morning. It sh we shouldn't go to sleep. We'll go, we'll go to sleep next time then. So yeah, there's still a bunch of things for us to do, but I think we will be wrapping it up, ladies and gents. Thanks for joining. 
we did progress a bit. Some of our things got destroyed. However, we will rebuild that furnace. Can you raid a base? I mean, we have destroyed a bunch of islands today. Okay, so let's pump this thing up. And it's almost already morning. Buggers. So yeah, we will definitely continue this. I want to continue Sunken Land. There will be more Sunken Land. Like, I'm actually interested to see what other things we can find here on this island. Use ore detector to find ores. Also, that. Um, ore detector. I got a blueprint for it, but... Okay, ore detector is also pretty expensive. So I don't have it yet. However, we will get it one day. So, hey guys, thanks for joining here. See you tomorrow with another video. And yeah, have an amazing day. I cannot wait to continue Sunken Land again. Still a bunch of islands to explore. A bunch of things to do. So let's save the game. And see you later, alligators. Take care, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed Sunken Land. And take care. Take care and peace out. Take care, guys.